early season. Definitely early season. I am drenched. So, I got Dad set up this morning. And then I slipped into one of my favorite funnels. Early season funnel. Um, I've never hunted it this early. Uh, but it, it was this area of the public land. Didn't have any trucks at it. So, I decided to go for it and come on it. And I got a couple of acorn trees dropping. I've had some really good hunts in here in the past. I shot a really nice 10 point. About 50 yards in front of me. Uh, coming into this funnel. Um, I had another good buck encounter right below me. I walked a deer that wasn't quite... 13 inches wide, which is what's legal for us. It's a legal doe or legal buck. We're shooting today, so I'm gonna sit tight and see how the hunt goes. mad about that on opening morning. That was a group of five bucks. Two of the five were shooters, legal shooters. Uh, just solid eight points. And, uh, they were about 40 yards to my right. Um, this spot, it just depends what side of the funnel they take. I might move to that side and then I'm sure I'll see deer tonight on this side. Exciting. Pretty bugs. All right. So, as y'all saw, we moved that stand. Definitely gonna be a gamble. Um, like I said, I've hunted that funnel before, and I'd say 60, 70% of the action is shootable from the side of the funnel I was on. But I've been burned by that too many times. I saw deer and bucks on the other side. So I went over there, rehung my stand, and it's gonna be tight. I mean, my furthest shot will be 15 yards. I'm not gonna have much to look at. I'm gonna be up in a live oak, which oddly enough is what they're eating. It's a live oak that they're hitting. I mean, there's droppings all underneath it. Um, so I'm gonna be up in it and it's gonna happen fast. Luckily, I was able to hang my bow directly in front of me, so I'll just be able to reach and grab it. Uh, but I'd kick myself if I left my stand up and saw those bucks or different deer do exactly what they did this morning. So we're gonna try it. We'll see, my luck is I'll be over there where I hunted on that side of the funnel this morning, but got to try it. That was a, it was a fun hunt to open the morning, see a bachelor group with one for sure shooter in it. Second one that was questionable. They have to be 13 inches wide and then just some smaller bucks. One of them I think was a spike, which I was going to shoot. So can't complain. Headed back to the truck now. I don't think dad saw anything this morning. Probably going to run into town and 
grab something to eat and get back in the stand. All right, we're headed back in. road into this area we have two vehicles parked so that hunter had to walk past them and decide to steal hunt with a bow at prime time at prime time like the best time in the evening and not only that he's going into the bedding side of the funnel with a terrible I'm not mad, it's, it's really, nothing surprises me anymore, but that's just crazy that somebody would do that. <laughs> Gotta have some etiquette out here. Well, plan almost worked. Uh, had a couple does go to the other side of the funnel, as I kind of expected would happen. Um, but then, right at dark, had a couple deer come and do the same thing that, I mean, do what they were supposed to do. And the lead deer, I'm pretty positive, was a spike. I was going to take him, but it was getting pretty dark. I just could not tell if he had uh, small points that was making him a four point. So open weekend, I'm not in a rush. I walked him, uh, definitely had a shot at him. GoPro is not very good at uh, low light footage. So you won't be able to tell much, but anyway, I'm not mad at it. Saw two, four, I guess nine deer open a weekend on two hunts. So, um, be back at it. Next week, we might be able to make a couple weeknight hunts. We'll see. Headed back to the truck now.